ಪತ್ರದುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೇ ಕಾಮೂಪಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಷಜೇಬರೋಗಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮುವ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರಪರಾಶರಂಚ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರಮಥಾ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಥಾ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಹಸ್ತಮಲಕ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ತಂ ತೌಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೂನ್ ಸಂತಮಾನಸ್ಮ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಹಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಅಪಾರ ಕರುಣಾಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಶಾಂತಿಣ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ವಹ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾಲೇಶಮಾತ್ರೇಣ ಉಮಾನ್ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜಾತೆ ತಂ ವಂದೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಧುರ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥಸ್ವಿ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದಂ ಓ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತ ಸಹೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಧೇತಮಸ್ತಮಾಷಾವಹೆ ಶಾಂತಿಪ್ಯಾಯಂತಮಾಂಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಶ್ಚಕ್ಷುಶ್ರೋತ್ರಮಥೋಬಲಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯಾಚರ್ವಾಷದ ಮಾಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರ್ಯಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋ ಮಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋ 
अनिराकरणमस्तु अनिराकरणम मे अस्तु अनिराकरणमस्तु अस्तु ாம் ಲಿಂಗ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪುರುಷ ಏಕ ವಚನ ರೂಪ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ಪದ ರೂಪ ಕ್ರಿಧಾತು ದುಃಖಿಂಗ್ ತರಣೆ ಯಾತು ಶುಭ ಪದಿ ಇಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ಪದಿ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ಪದ ರೂಪ ನಿರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ಸೊ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಯೋಗೆ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ನಿರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ಧಾತು ನಿರಾಕರೋತಿ ನಿರಾಕರುಯಾಂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಮಾಸ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾದಯ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಯೋಗೆ ಗತಿಶ್ಚ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಯೋಗೆ ಹೋರ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ನಿರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಪತತಿ ಪ್ರೇಷಿತ ಮನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪ್ರೈತಿ ವಾಚಿ ಚಕ್ಷುಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಕೌದೇವಿ ಚಕ್ಷುಪನಿಷದ್ the commentary will not be as simple as that of mandakar kata from keno upanishad we will be seeing the arguments between the opponent and the siddhanta puru pakshi siddhanta arguments will be there acharya himself will raise objection and he will answer in the form of puru pakshi we himself will raise objections and answers so that we can open is the study after these two upanishads or even kevali upanishad also studied before because in the very first mantra itself we saw the akshepa samadhanam why these two words ishitam preshitam why one word will be sufficient even though the argument on this may look simple or silly but it is important the upanishad uses two words therefore it has to be justified in acharya dastha and we need, need to remember the, the definition of bhashyam sutra arto varnyate yatra vakyai sutra arkari vigi svapadani cha varnyante bhashyam bhashya vido vidu from here only it starts real the pura pakshi apparent discussion in this upanishad onwards so all the upanishads from here onwards it will be like that each mantra will take some time the first mantra itself took some two three classes to understand what it is understanding the question the question is important 
the question forms a basis for the entire Upanishad. Ayam prate vichikitsa manushe astitye ke naayam astiti chayke. Etat vidya manushishtas toyakam varanam veshaha varastriti yaha iti nachiketas nachiketasaha prashnaha. Kato Upanishadi we have seen. And in the same Kato Upanishad, another question also he asked. And Yamadar Maharaja was delaying his, his uh, <clears throat> answer. Then to remind him, he said, Anyatra dharmat, Anyatra dharmat, Anyatra smat, Krita Krita, Anyatra bhuta cha bhagya cha. Yatat prashyasitat bhada, you tell me that. Iti. And of course, in Mundaka, we know the famous question. Tonaka has the, the beginning that forms the basis for the Upanishad. Kasmina Bhago Vignati, Sarvamidam Vignatam Bhavati. The well informed uh, the student. So, Yakasmin Jnane, Sarvamidam Bhavati. Tatkim Niti. And in the, all these in the Upanishad. And the Prakana Grantha also you will see like that. Like in Viveka Chodamani, Konama Bandaha, Katam Yeshaha, Agataha, Katam Pratishtasya, Katam Bimokshaha, Koso Vanatma, Paramaha Kaha Atma, Tayur Vivekaha, Katam Eta Puchyata, it is the question which is asked in question. And that forms the entire Prakanagranta. So the questions are all important. And the questions are so beautifully structured, framed by the student. And the very basic the way of asking the question as we say in Katopunshit, what happens to the jiva after Maranam? Everybody is uh, everybody everybody is you know wanting to know that. But only they postpone their the eagerness or you know, the, the desire, the desire for in, desire for things are not postponed, but desire for knowledge is postponed. Okay, whatever maybe, you know, it's going to happen later, not now. So let us discuss it later. Let us worry about it later. So it is postponed. So that question, he says, what Nachiketa has, it's, it's a question everyone has. So that is the question. That one, one question we see put in a simple manner. And uh, the second question has been achikata is something. Anyatra, dharma, anyatra, dharma. But another, it's a beautiful question. Similarly, here also, Keneshitam. So only question is asked and the Bashim to the question and the meaning of the mantra and the Bashim we have seen. They completed. So, Kena. Ishitam, Patati Pareshitam Manaha. Blessed by what? In the presence of what? The Manaha, Manaha, Vishayam Prati, Patati, Vachati. Then Pratamaha, Pranaha, Preti, Vittaha, Preti, Vacha, Janaha, Vach, Imam Vach, and Badanti, Kena. And also Indriyani, Chakshuhu, Shotram, Yani Indriyani, Karmi Indriyani. Who is that Deva? Kaha Deva, Unakti joins, Make it, makes it functional. Because they themselves cannot function. As Golaka, Anatma, Indriya is also Anatma. Golaka is external, it's a physical part. Indriya are Sukshma, Anga, Sukshma part, part of the Sukshma Sharira. So there must be an uh, Ideva, a being, effulgent being. So must be blessing the Indriyas. So therefore the Indriyas are functional because they cannot be functional. It is common sense. But of course that also, even though it is, we say common sense, but Sharvaka, they don't accept. 
They don't accept anything other than they want the Indriyas. Indriyas function. They don't, because Indriya function, there is no necessity that Atma or Satyam Deva must be there, an effulgent being. So Devaha is this effulgent being that is Chaitanya Atma. They don't accept. Because they don't think Avichara Siddhaha. Only when we do Vichara, then only we can inquire, we can uh, come to certain understanding. Whether it is wrong or right, that is different. It is Vichara. Vichara Siddhaha, no problem, there. no inquiry, therefore conclusion. Conclusion based on no inquiry, no analysis, no investigation, just simply conclude. And when we do vichara, the, vich the vichara also has to be proper. In keeping with the shruti, pramanam, pramanam, pramana vakyas are important. In keeping with the shruti, the vakyas, in keeping with the vision of the, the shruti, the vakyas have to be analyzed. Mimamsa should be done. That's why Mimamsa shastram, padashastram. Padashastram means vyakarana shastram. Vyakaranam is important. To understand the words, how the words are constructed. And the word, what the, the mean, what, what, is, what is the meaning of the word in the given context? And putting all the words together and forms the sentence forms the meaning. That includes Mimamsa. So Padashastram, Mimamsa, all these are inquired and shuddling uh, everything applied. And the Vakya is analyzed and then come to the conclusion, Tatparya. So that is the, that is how the vision of the Shruti is unfolded by this, this Sampradaya. So the vision being there, <clears throat> that is the vision arrived at the vision based on based on all these these tools, analysis of the vakya by using these tools. Without using anything coming to a conclusion is avichara siddha. By that we don't get a we don't grow, just we continue to be a samsari. And uh, from as I told, from here onwards, from this Upanishad onwards, we will be seeing a lot of the inquiry in the form of Pura Paksha Siddhanta in order to make our understanding very clear. The first two Upanishad gave us an inkling about the, the teaching of the Upanishad. From here onwards, we will see a lot of discussion will be there. And all the mantras of this Upanishad are important. And the question onwards. So now, uh, having completed the first mantra, now let us read the second mantra for which this the Sangati Ashikara has given. I think we saw in the last verse. We started the, man, the mantra, I think we didn't complete. Let's do it. Evam Prashtavate. Evam Prishtavate, Prishtavate, Yogyaya Ah Guru, Yogyaya Ah Guru, Guru, Shruno, Shruno, Yet Tum Prichasi, Yet Tum Prichasi, Mana Adi Karanajatasya. Mana Adi Karanajatasya Ko Devaha Ko Devaha Vishayam Prati Prerayita Svavishayam Prati Prerayita Katamba Prerayati Iti Katamba Prerayati Iti Shrotras Shrotram Banaso Mano Yet Shrotras Shrotram Manaso Manaso Mano Yet Vacho Havacham Savu Pranasya Pranaha Vacho Havacho Savu Pranasya Pranasya Pranaha Chakshushas Chakshurati Mutsya Dhiraha Chakshusha, Chakshusha, Chakshura, Rati, Chiyadira, Pretya, Pretya, Smaloka, Damrata, Bhavanti, 
योग्यता ऑफ द शिष्य कैन बी डिजर्न फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन द वे ही प्रेजेंटर द the question amazing way of asking for the knowledge so from that the teacher can infer that the person must be a yogya purusha because he is the 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 question the question shows the interest as well as the the knowledge for which the student had already worked otherwise this question cannot be asked kena shitam padati prashitam iti so it means the person must have been doing some inquiry but not with the shastram of its of, on its own maybe doing he was doing properly so therefore he must be a sadhana chatushtai sampanna he must have that mumukshutam and the other qualities present are not to the required uh, level or uh, whatever that that may one may cultivate over a period of time by like continuing to study shastra but the mumukshu mumukshutam that the desire the desire to enquire jignasu now is no more a mumukshu also it is jignasu because he understood that knowledge alone can give moksha it is just not uh, curious to know what him what propels the uh, indriyas manaha pranaha etc not just what propels but gaining the knowledge of which one becomes free that is why the inquiry is done because any knowledge knowledge must the knowledge what uh, we gain through pramana The knowledge must be palabat. It should have some utility. Any knowledge must have some utility. What is the knowledge of this para vidya in the language of under cooperation? So the knowledge gives us freedom. Even though the in the question it is not there, but in the answer it is there. Preeti asma, preeti asma, loka tamrata aha bhavanti. So, in the answer, the teacher, the name of the teacher, not known, he mentions asmat lokat preeti, preeti asmat lokat, totally asmat lokat. Lakara becoming lakara totally. So, ये बंद प्रश्न बते, so the guru, aha, वधति, to the disciple. Even was asked in this manner, and who is a yogya, purusha, yogya for knowledge. So the yogya ta can be in, can be yogya ta of an aspirant can be considered in two ways. One is yogya ta for pursuing karma yoga, like in the Gita. Arjuna is the yogya purusha for karma yoga. So let's say Bhagwan asked him to yudhyasva bharata iti. So karma yoga, the knowledge, of course, he can do shravanam. He can gain. He can study shastra, but but he has to work. He has to perform his duties. That is karma yoga, yogya ta. so that he should continue to perform the karma as a yoga karma yoga and the meaning of the karma yoga and what does karma yoga give so all these things were elaborated by bhagwan to arjuna so that 
he gets a dreader sankalpa to gain the adhigaritva. So that is adhigaritva. Adhigaritva prapti yogita. Even to gain the adhigaritva, the yogita is required. That is one must have, first of all, one must have interest. Preyas is there, Shreyas is there. One cannot come to Shreyas from Preyas immediately. From Preyas to Shreyas. So far, one has been pursuing Dharma, Artha, Kama, after Kama and after Artha. So, slowly he has to make the Artha and Kama subserve the Moksha by performing Karma Yoga. Then, after that, so is Shreyas. So, because the Karma Yoga gives certain Chitta Shuddhi, certain clarity, and therefore then he seeks Jnanam and Jnana Yoga. This is how the, the order is, the scheme of things. So, Yogyata, here it is Yogyata, is Jnana Yogyata, because teaching is involved, and the eligibility of the disciple is ascertained by the question, by his question. So, therefore, Yogyaya, Yogi Shishyaya, Guru Aga, Shrunu, Yatu Tom Prachasi, what you ask, what you ask, Kaha Devaha iti Yatu Tom Prachati, Kaha Devaha Prairita, Prairita for what? Manadi, Karana Jata, Samoga Sia. Jata, Jata is Samoga, group, Gramasia. Indriya Gramasia. Manadi, Mana is Bagya, Mana is an. It is antakharanam. And uh, indriyas are bhagya. Relative to manaha, it is bhagya. So bhagya karanam. So indriyani, karma indriyani, jnana indriyani, put together. So all this, mana adi, karanas, karana jatasya, samugasya. So mind, <coughs> mana adi, adi padad, Jnana Indriyani, Karma Indriyani, Adipadat. So, Jatasya. Mana Adi Karanani. Manaha Adi Yesham Te Tatar Yesham Tani Karanani. Mana Adi Karanani. Bhagavadi Samasa. Mana Adi, etc. They are the Karana. And Karana Nam Samugaha. Shastitat Purusha. So, Bhaguvri ki garbha Shastitat Purusha Samasaha. Manaha Adi ki, Manaha Adi, not Adi, because Manaha is Nakumsaka Linga. So, Manaha Adi, Karana, Manaha Adi, Esham Tani Karanani, Manadi Karanani, Manadi Karananam, Samugaha Jataha. Jatasya, Manadi Karajatasya. Kaha Devaha, who is the Deva? Divyati iti Devaha, the one who is effulgent, who makes everything functional, is Devaha. An object comes to our perception because there is a perceptory power in the organ, sense organ. And the perceptory power belongs to, does it belong to the Golaka, does it belong to the sense organ? Sense organ being there, it should be blessed by a, a principle, conscious principle, is Devaha. A Devaha is conscious in Atma. But Atma is not told, it's, it's going to be told. What is that Devaha? is Kaha Devaha. Kaha Devaha Swavishayam Pati Prerita. Swavishayam Pati Prerita. He is a Prerita, he is the one who does the Preranam. Prayanam Karoti is the one who directs. Katamba Prairai, Swavishyam Prati, Tahab Devaha Prairaita, which Deva, which effulgent being is the Prairaita, who is the impeller, who is the director, who is the persuader of the Antakranam, in the presence of only all these are functional. In the presence of only the knowledge of the objects are gained. Blessed by the Devata alone, there are perceptual knowledge. Otherwise, not possible. A flower may be there right in front of your eyes, but you won't be able to pursue because the eyes are not blessed by this by this Deva. So therefore, therefore Devaha Prairita Katam Kaha Devaha, who is that Deva? 
that is enquiry, Kaha Devaha, that is the enquiry. Therefore, Kaha Devaha. If Deva is said Atma in the beginning, so then there is no enquiry. Kaha Devaha, who is the Devaha? Katamba Prairiti. How does he direct? Is that is, does he directly involved or uh, just by presence? He say presence because we know Sanidya Matrena Prarita Bhavati. But it's an inquiry. Therefore, we don't know in the beginning. So how does he direct? How does he Katam Prairait? How does he direct? By himself, you know, directly participating in the, the functional in the, function, in the function of the, the Indriyas? Or uh, does he or does he just by being present he makes it happen? How does it? Katam va prayera iti. 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 Iti tom prachasit tate tom shunu. What you ask, you please listen to that. Shrotrasthya shrotram. Manaso mano yata. Vacho ka vacham savuk pranasya pranaha. Chakshushaha chakshuhu. Up to that, Atimucha diraha, that part we will see later. Now, Shrotrasya Shrotram. Yet, Tum, Yet, Yet, Tum Prachasitatu Shuno, Yet, Shrotrasya Shrotram. Manasaha, Manaha, Vachaha, Vacham, Vachaha, Vacham. It is Chandasam, Vachaha, Vak, Vachabda. Vak or Vag, Vacho, Vachaha, Vacham, Vacho, Vachaha. You can see Shotra Sia Shasti Vakti, Shotram Pratamavat. Manasaha Shasti Vakti, Manaha Pratamavat. Vachaha Shasti Vakti, Vacham, that is Vacham is Jitya Vakti, but Vacham to be understood as Vak because everything is Pratamavakti, Shotram, Manaha, a Vacham can be Jitya. So it is. The usage of the Veda, Vacham, we have to understand. Vacham is walk. Vachaha, walk. Speech of the speech. Mind of the mind. That's the translation. I hear of the year in English we give. Pranasya, pranaha, pranaha, pratma, bhakti. So the words are there. So, Shotrasya, Shotram, one, group, one pair. Shotra and Shotra, both are connected. Shotrasya, Shotram, another pair, Manaha. Manasaha Manaha, Vachaha Vak, Pranasya Pranaha, other pair, and Chakrushaha, Chakshu, eye of the eye. Not eye for the eye, eye of the eye. So, Ati Muchya, that part I see, so we'll see later. Now, so this, the Devaha, that it is what you asked, the De Kaha Devaha, Saha Devaha. And here, Chakshuho Shotram Kaha Devaha, Kau Devo Yunakti, that's the question. Here it is used. There it is Saha. Saha Devaha, here it is yet. The gender has changed. It means here it is neuter gender. Therefore, the Vastu doesn't have any gender. What is the gender of Vastu? The Vastu, the word may have gender. Vastu Vastuni Vastuni Atum Sakalinga. Or the word Atma as gender, Pulinga, Atma, Atma, or Brahma as gender, Brahma, Brahmani, Brahmani. The word as gender, but what the word means has no gender. And the, the, the gender, the gender of the word, by the gender of the, by the, by the, the Yavahara, by the word we come to we understand the gender and accordingly we use. But that is not the case when, when it comes to revealing the Vastu. The Vastu has no gender, it is above all genders. So therefore we can use, we can interchangeably use any word, Saha, Yetu, Tatu. So in many of the places in Upanishad we will see one place it will be used, the, the, the Pulinga, another place it is Napum Sukhaminga. 
So therefore, Saha or Sa or that the Vastu can be indicated by any of the any any of the, the gender the words, any of the word in any gender. So Saha Devaha it Saha Deva Kaha Devaha Yunakti Saha Devaha Saha Yitu. So it has become now neuter. It means uh, the idea is that Brahma, that Vastu has no gender. Saha Yitu. So Yitu Shrotrasya Shrotram. Kaha Devaha Yitu Tom Prachasi. The Kaha Devaha Yitu Yitu Tom Prachasi. Devaha Yitu. So Devaha Pulinga Yitu Napun Sakalinga. It means when it comes to the Vastu discussion of Vastu, the gender doesn't really uh, have, have no meaning. So therefore, Yetu Tom Prachasi. Regarding Deva, you ask that that is Shotrasya Shrutram. Manasaha Manaha Vachaha Vak Vacham. Pranasya Pranaha. Ha is just a particle indeed. And Chakshushaha Chakshuhu. So the question of the Shishya is answered by this up to this. The resultant of this, so this is the answer, gaining the knowledge of gaining this now gaining gaining the knowledge of that. What is the result? Atimucha dirahaiti, the teacher adds Diraha Vivekinaha Atimuchya. Ati Muchya. Ati Tya. Ati Muchya. Ati Muchya is Ati Purvaka Much Yep. Ati Muk it is Muktva. Ati Muchya is Muktva. Be freed from Jivan Muktaha Bhavanti Diraha Iti. Ati Muchya. So Ati Ati Purvaka Muchatu Lep Pratya. Ati is uh, Ati is Gati Gati Samasa. It is Ati Iti Upapada Samasa Gati Ati Mucha Diraha. So Diraha Jivan Muktaha Bhavanti De crossover. De free. Muchdatu Muchru. Free. They are free. They are freed from what? Free from Sansara. Diraha Vekinaha. So why why is I said Jivan Muktaha? Because the like, next the line. Asmat Lokat Preti Amrtaha Bhavanti is that. So Ati Mucha Dira here Ati Mucha Ati Mucha Ati Mucha Diraha Bhavanti. Then again Bhavanti Amrtaha Bhavanti Asmat Lokat Preti. Then what is that? Asmat Lokat Preti Amrtaha Bhavanti. They become Amrtaha. Amrtaha they become free from The samsara chakra that is in the form of janma marana, the samsara. They free from this janma, janma for janma. The karma is karma and kama, avidya. So avidya, kama, karma, all these are gone. Therefore, they become free. Amrutaha bhavanti. They become free from this the cycle of janma marana. That is from marana is marana and janma. Marana is the, marana. If marana is the jan, janma will be there. So, therefore, Amritaha means there is no coming and going. Therefore, they become free from this cycle of sansara. Free from Amritaha. Bhru means to die, to death. So, they are free from death. Free from death means free from birth also. It means they are free from sansara chakra. So, free from death when we can say. the Free, free from death means free from birth. Free from birth when we can say when they have left the body. Therefore, there is no more birth and therefore no more death. It means this is after, after the fall of the body. Therefore, it is Videha Mukti. So, therefore, Ati Mucha Diraha is Jivan, Jivan Muktaha Bhavanti Diraha Vekinaha. After the fall of the body, they become Videha Muktaha Asmat Lokat Preti. They depart from this world. Asmat Lokat Preti Gachati. Tarkashena Yeti Preti. Then Amrtaha Bhavanti, they become free. It means there is no more Janma and therefore no more maran, the Maranam also, death also. So Jeevan Muktaha, oh, uh, Deha Muktaha Bhavanti. 
So that is the palam ube palam. Actually, it is only one palam. Even muktaha only that's the the word we use that only from the standpoint of the people because for for them they see the jnani living and doing things, having action. Therefore, therefore, jivan mukta and vidya mukta iti the big classic. Mukti is mukti. So therefore, while living itself, they become free. And what to talk about after marana? So they continue to be free. So this Upanishad says, while living they are free and after Marana, therefore there is no coming back. No more Janma, any form of Janma. So Bhavanti. That is the Palam. Ubaya Palam. Gaining the knowledge of that Shrotram. Manaha, Shrotrasya Shrotram Yitu. Manasaha Manaha Yitu. Vachaha Vak. Pranasya Pranaha. So the knowledge of that which is the Shrotram, of the Shrotram, Manaha of the mind, Manaha mind, speech of the speech, Prana of the Prana, eye of the eye, when it is known what it is, then one is one becomes free while living and becomes free after and continue to be free, not becomes free, continue, continue to be free, continues to be free after death. So the knowledge of that. So this, now the Shotrasya Shrotram, the Shotrasya is Shashti Bhakti, Shrotram Pratama Bhakti. Shashti Bhakti is not a Karaka. Shashti Bhakti is Kartu Karmana Ho Kriti, there only Kartari Shashti, Karmani Shashti. Generally we say Kartu Shashti Shashti Bhakti is not a Karaka. But there, of course, there are some places where we see Shashti Bhakti as Karaka also, Karmani Shashti, Kartari Shashti, like Vishwasya Karta, Vishwa is the object, the so Karmani Shashti. But here it is not, here it is just uh, Shotrasya Shotram. It is, it's, it is, it is a Shotra, the word. Pashakara will say, Shuyate Anenaiti Shrotram. If you see the Vipati of the word, Shuyate Anenaiti Shrotram. Shrotra, the word is derived from the Shrudhatu, the, 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 the Prataya. Interesting, the Prataya is. See, the Prataya is, with, a, with a Shrotra, it is, uh, there is, there is one Prataya in the Ashtadhyaya, you will see, Shtan Prataya. There is one pratya, shtrand pratya. Shtrand, takara, shakara is it. Pratya se adhi, shakara, hasha, pratya se. Trand is the pratya. Trand will become tra, nakara also it. Daka karmani shtrand, iti one sutra means that. You can check later, 32181. That uh, shtrand pratya, it comes after the verb, denoting the object. So, that particularly that stun pratya comes for the verb dha dha, dha means to feel. So dha tri, dha tri, dha tri means the nurse. Dha tri, dha tri. So that is a different uh, stun, not a trich, it is stun, dha tri the word. In fact, that is uh, the, the dhatri for the dhatri means a nurse who, you know, whom the, the children suck when the dayanti, in that meaning. Is that what is your strength? No. There is another Lexi Sutra, is a 182. You can, again, you can check later. That's also strength. The, uh, the word strength coming as anugruti for that, for some dhatus. Dhaka karmani strength is very specifically for dha dhatu. Dha means to feed. So in that sense, Dhatri means denoting a nurse whom the children suck. That is the meaning. The next one is Tran Pratya is used for some used with the Sandhatus. That it is used, the Sandhatu, where the Sandhatu comes with the word, the, the, the Tran is used in the sense of instrument. It is used in the sense of instrument, like a 
dhatu like dat, ni, shas, yu, yuj. The list of dhatus are given. It's two, tud, si, sich, mik, pat, dash, nag, etc. So first dhatu, da, daap dhatu. Recently also in uh, subsequent class, I said da, da, gudap, accepting the daap, pratyahalvi, gusanya. That is the daap, chedane, to cut. So da plus strun, you get datra. Datram. Datra means a sickle. It's an instrument that by which you cut datram. Ni datu plus this pratya, strun pratya. Shakara is it the letter. Therefore, ni plus tra, you get netra. That by which you see netram. Shas to hurt. Shtan pratya. Content is tra, shtan pratya. Shastram weapon. That by which you fight. That by which you hurt. So, merely yujudatu become yotra. So, all these things. And mig, the datu mig means to urinate. To urinate. By niyad is pratya become nedram. Nedram means that by which you know the person urinates, referring to the the organ. So therefore, that stand pratya denotes stand pratya denotes the instrument. But this is a interesting here. This is a pratya. It is this just a tra pratya. It is tra. It is just tra pratyaya. Chru plus tra. This is by the Unadi Sutra in fact. Not by the Sutras. Because their stran pratyaya is given for some words alone. So therefore here it is shotra. Iti. The word is here the, the the word is shotra. So it is very specifically there is a the Unadi Sutra, Nadi Pata, we have a sutra. There it's a pratya called Tra Pratya. Tra with a shru. There it is used. The Tra Pratya is ordained to the Dhatu in the sense of instrument. Shuyate anena yiti shrotra, that by which, so you should not confuse the pratya to be stran pratya. That is why I told what is not in the beginning. 3 to 81, 3 to 82. That is not. The pratya is the unadi pratya, tra, tra pratya. The shuyate anena yiti. Shuyate anena yiti shrotram. And Vashakara, the he says that. That's how in the Unadi Sutra we can check later. 4.137. Who ya mashu? Was it just tran pratya? It is just a tran. From that we get the word shotram. So that is a shotram here. Just a tran pratya, Unadi. Now, the point is why we discuss all these things? It is an instrument. To, referring to the tran pratya added to the dhatu, referring to denoting the, the instrument. Shuyate arena iti, shrotram. So, shrotram is instrument. So, instrument is it is it is handled by the karta. So, shrotram is instrument. Shrotrasya shrotram means shrotrasya shrotram means shrotram being an instrument, instrument of that. So that cannot be the instrument, right? Shotram itself is an instrument. Manaha, shotra, yeah, just taking the Shotra, the word Trapratya. Shotra, Manaha is an instrument. All these are Charanan. The Shotra itself being an instrument. And Shotrasya Shotram. Shotrasya Shotram. That is Shotra being an instrument. Tasya, Shotrasya. Of the instrument, it's shotra. Instrument of the instrument, that is not instrument. That's important. Shotrasya, when we say that shotrasya, that which is in shasti vakti, that referring to the instrument, shotrasya, manasaha, vachaha, pranasya, chakshushaha, all these are karanani, except pranaha, pranaha is not a karanam, but all these prana also 
is mentioned along with this. Of course, it's important. Without prana, the, the sense organs cannot operate, mind cannot function. The person cannot survive the prana. So, the shotra is here, that is, of the instrument, what shotram. Shotram is also instrument. The instrument of the instrument. It means it is not an instrument. Shotrasya Shotram, when we say the Vastu is ear of the ear, but it is not the ear. So we should not take the Vastu is the ear, the Vastu is the mind, the Vastu is the walk, the Vastu being what it is. That makes what the ear hear. The Shotra Indriya. Does the hearing job is capable of doing, is capable of hearing because of that vastu. That vastu is what is denoted by the word which is in Prathama Vedana. Chotram, Manaha, Vak, Pranaha, Chakshuhu, Iti, the vastu. Because we cannot refer to the, the vastu, the directly, means directly means you have to negate the vastu. The vastu cannot be defined. That is why in Mundaka Upanishad we saw Atta Yetta Dadresham Agraki Magotram Avarnam Achakshu Ashotram. He doesn't have Chakshu, he doesn't have I. Then how do you present the vastu? He doesn't have any part, doesn't have any limbs, doesn't have any Indriyani, but it makes Indriyani Indriyani. It makes Indriyani Indriyani. So Indriya. Because of that Vastu alone, because of Devaha alone, that Devaha alone, blessed by Devata only, the ears enjoy the capability, the, the faculty of hearing. Therefore, Shotrasya, the Shotratvam, which is the, the, the capability, is because of this Vastu. Similarly, Chakshu, Shaha, Chakshu, the eyes are able to see because of that, but it cannot see. It can't see means it must have Indriya. It doesn't have Indriya. How can it see? The Vastu cannot hear. The Vastu cannot see. The Vastu cannot think. The Vastu cannot, the, doesn't have Prana for its survival. But with, I, I'm not having any of this, but it makes everything functioning, functional. So, so therefore, that which makes a Prana, Prana, really from Prana, that which makes a mind and all the sense organs functional, it means blessed by that. All these are, all these function. So, therefore that, that Vastu is what is indicated by the words in the Pratama Vibhakti. But the, that, the meaning of the words in Pratama Vibhakti doesn't completely define what the Vastu is. Because the Vastu is Shotram. When you say it is Shotram, then how can it be the I? Question comes that the Vastu is Shotrasya Shrotram, then we understand Vastu is Shotram. The Devaha is year of the year. Then when you say Chakshushaka Chakshuhu, then how can it be I of the year? I? How can it be both? Can, how can it be Manasaha Manaha, Vachaha, Pranasya Pran? How can it be all this? So that is a teaching. It's a beautiful way of presenting. So he is all, at the same time, he is not any of them. So there comes the teaching, the Vedanta, the teaching, Oxen. The Shrotra, the Shrotra is different from Chakshu. Chakshu is different from Prana. Prana is different from Manha. All these are different. The organ of hearing is different, different from the organ of seeing. But behind all this, the Vastu, which is indicated by all the words in Pratama Vibhakti, that is one and the same. That is the truth of all. So, uh, since the Indriyas, all, all the organs, even Prana, they are Jada. They are all Jada only. They are product. Karyatva. Jada. 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 But there must be something behind that which makes them operate, blessed by them. That's why we say blessed by Sanidhyam, Sanidhyam Atrena. So these beings, Jada, there must be a Chetana. The Chotra, 
Shrotrasya referring to that the, the, the organ, which is Achetana. Achetana Shrotrasya. Yatu Shrotram. Tatu Chetanam Bhavati. Vastu. So, Mali Manasa. Manasa also Jadam Mandi. So, Achetana Manasaha. Achetana Manasaha. Chetana. Achetana Manasaha. Chetana. Chetanam Manaha Bhavati. That, that Manaha is Chetanam. But this man, this Antakranam is Jada Yeva. Achetanam Yeva. So all these are Jada. The Jada, the Jada, the Jada Indriyani, the Jada Prana, all these are blessed by that Chetana. Means that Chetana was to bless us all, blessed by this. They are all. Do the, the, the respective job. They look as though they are sentient by itself. It is not. Therefore, that Vastu, which is Chaitanya Swarupa, that alone makes this Jada, Shrotra, Chetana. So it's a borrowed Chetanatum for the Shrotra. Borrowed Chetanatum for Manas, mind. Borrowed Chetanatum for the Vak speech. Vagindriya stands, Vagindriya stands, Vagindriya Karmendriya stands for all the Karmendriya. So that makes all this functional, but it is not any of them. So that year of the year, when we say year of the year, it means it is, it blesses the year, therefore the year is, but it is not the year. It is not the eye. It is not a prana. We give the the, 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 the sun being there, the sun shines. So the prakasha. So it blesses the Prithvi by its shine. Prithvi is there, it blesses. Prithvi is not there, it continues to bless us. Its shine is not going to be, it's not going to be disturbed by the presence or absence of the, sur the surface. If the surface is shiny, smooth, then it, it's reflected. If it is not, it is, it's not going to the the, the 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 rough surface will not reflect the sun, but sun continues to shine, irrespective of the surface of the earth. So as the sun shines, it it is it is it shines. It is its uh, swarupa, prakasha swarupa. So what is the chaitanya, the chaitana vastu shines? So when this shotra comes. It's when the Shotra comes in the end of the vicinity of this Chetana Vastu, the Shotra gets the or enjoys the, the capability of hearing. Mind gets the capability of mind being Jada. It gets the capability of thinking. Somebody walk in there gets that faculty of speaking. Pranas, pranaha becomes Pranaha. Otherwise, there is nothing but Jada here. So, Therefore, the, the words, here yeah, the Shotram, etc., all these, doesn't referring to literally that, but that Vastu. The Vastu is free from all these attributes. All these are blessed by them, but it is not that. This is a beautiful way of revealing the Vastu. Otherwise, we need to, we need to, you know, define the Vastu, like any other object, we have to object, but Vastu cannot be objectified. Any other way of presenting the Vastu will tend to uh, create, tend to make, uh, tend to objectify, objectify it. If the objectification is done, then it is not the Vastu, because Vastu cannot be objectified. Because it is not a thing which can be objectified. It is what is everything is. So that which is everything, how can be objectified. It should be available for objectification, then when only it can be objectified. In fact, that objectifies everything and that cannot be objectified. Then how do you present that? This is how we can present. That is why the mantras are very abstruse, very profound. And it is one of the beautiful mantra, excellent mantra, which is completely profound. And this is the language of the Upanishads. And uh, another thing is also that is 
this this the ear function the shrotrendriya function because of what because of the ear ear of the ear that ear that is the vastu so that vastu how can we know of course only for this the shastra we know but the presence of the ear that that organ the ear ears the ear is that astitvam the merit has come to that shrotra shrotrendriya because shrotrendriya exists this manaha antakaranam exists speech vagindriya exists all these pranaha exists eyes chakshindriya exist so all this exists that existence it's not of itself this it exists the astitvam astitvam do not belong to them they all exist and astitvam asti 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 iti and that asti that what is that is the vastu and that vastu when it blesses them and makes it as a sentient then becomes chit so therefore it is as it is sat and the sat alone is chit the vastu which therefore we said vastu is sat chit swarupah and it is not limited it cannot be it, it cannot be limited to anything it is purnam therefore anantah therefore sat chit anantah anandah iti so therefore sat chit anantah means it is brahma it is atma that is a vastu that is what this the, the teacher says here not directly telling it is atma in fact the, the pura pakshi here realized why don't you tell that directly why all this is round about the so i mean you can see that that's a beautiful discussion there the bashyam so that shrotrasya shrotram that shrotram is the vastu that, that that vastu it is aham because of me finally that we have to arrive at that that is myself because of me the ear is ear the shrotrendriya is shrotrendriya enjoys a faculty of hearing because of me me alone i bless them i bless the mind i bless the walk i bless the, the speech i bless the prana it that it i bless them revealed they are all revealed you know I, or i am revealed through them but i am not any of them so i am the reality that i am revealed through them but the revelation through that is limited so therefore we cannot confined confined i cannot confine my soul to that shrotra because i am the shrotra i am the manaha also i am the vaka also i am the prana also so through all this through all this i am i am alone is revealed but i am not any of them so knowing that who am i that i the person becomes free jivan mukta bhavati videha mukta maranat parantaram videha mukta bhavati iti so this requires viveka that is why dhiraha the word is used otherwise shrotra se shrotra means what is shrotra se shrotra the shakti bhakti is used shakti vivakti generally we use for sambandha so sambandha is connecting two things suppose if i say it is mama grigam mama grigam this house is something which belongs to me mama grigam my property mama grigam mama shariram you can use mat shariram so mama that is big sense mama shariram this house is an extension of me it belongs to me so i identify with the house so i identify with the shariram as i identify with the shariram similarly i identify with the house mama putra ha mama putri there is some identification so i am extended to this sambandha is there but what sambandha is here shashti here purnasya purnam what sambandha is there between the pur to purnam purnamada mantra purnasya purnamada ya purnam eva vashishyate purnasya purnam in purnasya purnam purnasya purnam adaya purnasya shashti bhakti 
तो पूर्ण आदाय पूर्ण आदाय पूर्ण में अवशिष्य सो पूर्ण से पूर्ण आदाय पूर्ण से षष्टि पूर्ण से पूर्ण पूर्ण से जगत पूर्ण गृहित पूर्ण में अवशिष्य दट इट्स ऑल द वे इट इज ओनली दट वस्तु अलोन सत्यम वस्तु अलोन पूर्ण से पूर्ण सो सो दर फोर पूर्ण मीन दट वस्तु ओनली वाट इज दर इज पूर्ण तो पूर्ण से पूर्ण मीन इट इज ऑल द वे इट इज पूर्ण सो यू कैनाट रिमूव यु नो दट फ्रम एनीथिंग इट इज दट इज वाट सस्टेन एवरीथिंग इट इज वाट प्रसेंट इज प्रसेंट सो श्रोत्र से श्रोत्र चक्षुषा चक्षु बिन्वी से दट इट इज अ ट्रूथ यथा पूर्ण से पूर्ण श्रोत्र से श्रोत्र इट इज अ ट्रूथ ऑफ ऑल सो इट इज the chaitanya the chaitanyam eva it is the chaitanyam is the truth of everything so that uh, we can replace now shotra se shotram by tasya tat or tasya tat eta shotra se shotram manasah manah purnasya purnam purnam the word we can refer to by the word tat tat referring to brahma tat brahma so tasya tat tasya tat is tatvam eva श्रोत्र से श्रोत्र मीन तस्य तत् तस्य तत् इज वॉट तत्व सो दर फोर इट इज विदउट तत् दर इज नो तस्य दिस इज अूनिक हैंडलिंग ऑफ द वर्ड्स जनरली वेन टू थिंग्स हैव गॉट संबंध द टू वर्ड्स टू टू वर्ड्स मस्ट बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज दे हैव गॉट संबंध यथा मम गृहम बेन बेस मम पुत्र मम इज अहम and putra is ad pratipadikam putra son different one different from me therefore sambandha is possible sambandha here the shrotra is a pratipadika for both the words shrotra is the pratipadikam shrotrasya shakti bhakti and shrotra in pratama bhakti shrotra che shrotram shrotra te shrotram means tasya tat tat that is the vastu is what is alone is indicated by the shrotram पूर्णस्य पूर्णम तो व्हाट व्हाट संबंध इज अ बिटवीन द टू पूर्णम इट इज ऑल द वे पूर्णम इट इज द ट्रूथ ऑफ एवरीथिंग दफो पूर्णस्य पूर्णम सूत्रस्य श्रोत्रम तस्य तत् तस्य तत् इज व्हाट इट इज तत्वम दैट अलोन इज इट इज सो विदाउट तत् दैट इज कैनॉट बी तस्य विदाउट श्रोत्रम विदाउट द श्रोत्रम हियर दिस मंत्र ऑफ श्रोत्र मीनिंग द वस्तु विदाउट द वत्सु दैट कैनॉट बी श्रोत्रस्य without tat there cannot be tasya that tasya tat that that is ishvara bhagwan alone is the form of the chetana consciousness this uh, he pervades the entire jagat and blesses the entire jagat and all the faculty which the human being enjoys shotra indriyani shotra indriya etc all these are blessed by him the form of chit 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 swarupa ishvara ishvara is sat and because everything is being sat asti for ishvara and it is as chit blesses all the all the indriyani so through the known the unknown is present shotra se indriyani is are known shotra indriya is known vagindriya is known mind and all known so through the known the unknown is presented that unknown is also through the known words chotram manaha iti but it is not chotra meaning that literally here it is that principle that that which blesses all this because what is referred to by the word chotram is what manaha is is what vak is it what pranaha is it was chakshu therefore we cannot confine that vastu to any of them it means it is all this is above above that it blesses the indriya and therefore from the perspective of the indriya it is called particular indriya it is called shotram it's called manaha iti but it is ishvara bhagavan alone so therefore tasya tat it is tattvam the tat chetana the chetanatvam the chetanatvam which the indriyas enjoy it is it is really attributed to that ishvara alone 
this achetana achetana also is, it is blessed by but only thing is it doesn't have it doesn't have sukshma shadyam to reveal therefore it is achetana therefore is there is no really chetana achetana the body is achetana mandi the body enjoys sensuality because the sukshma sharira has has the capability to express the sensuality that that is not its own it is borrowed sensuality the chetanatma of the shariram is not the chetanatma of itself the body is not chetana by itself thus sensuality and the sensuality is a is a borrowed one that vastu blesses therefore it is shariram asti and uh, chit and, and uh, the ishwara manifests through these indriyas as special faculty so that is uh, the mantra we will continue we will see the mantra further and then the bashim the next class om purnamada purnamitam purna purnamadachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri guru pyo namaha hari om dhanyavada dhanyavada guru ji धन्यवाद हरजी धन्यवाद हरकृष्ण धन्यवाद हरजी